Candelaria Cave is found in the middle of a Mayan village. The money from the tour goes to the entire community. These Mayan families moved here over 70 years ago to escape the draft from the Civil War. Here's the first cave of the day, Candelaria. Like a lot of wet caves, this has a rainy season when it floods. He said that's October to November. The town will flood, caves. The area is full of wildlife. We heard toucans, monkeys, and saw a snake drag its dinner into the jungle. Our guide said big cats used to live here, but no one has seen them in a long time. It's good to note there are two Candelaria tours once you come into the area. The good tour is off the main road down a semi-sketchy road. The other tour is just very short. We heard about these caves in a book we purchased before starting the Pan American Highway Club. <laughs> Don't go there. It's not safe. You'll die. Another more rational advice for overlanding Central America. Beautiful. The caves did live up to their praise, but thankfully the roads are a lot better than they sounded back then. Honestly, they might have gone to the other Candelaria, but I did the short tour there and it was incredibly short. They also had another dry cave and the tubing there that I didn't do. It's probably pretty sweet also. So now we head to the tubing through a cave. Tubing is always relaxing and this was definitely so, but we were really looking forward to tubing through a cave. It seemed like a whole new way to explore caves. One of my favorite things in the world. The guide is mandatory, but he definitely knew the best way to do it, when to stand up for a couple moments. We didn't get it on camera, but at one point I even dropped my headlamp into the water. I was trying to get a better shot and took it off my head, which was stupid, but then at least we found out it was waterproof. I was able to see it shining underwater and it was pretty scary, but I dove down to get it, trying to get slightly deeper, slightly deeper until I touched it with my hand and was able to retrieve it. cave this way it was super interesting to get to explore every nook and cranny in an area where you wouldn't be able to walk all while chilling and relaxing on a tube. Inside the tubing cave rooms were enormous. It was hard to believe during the rating season they completely fill with water. The dry cave door was an hour and a half long and tubing through a cave was two hours long. The perfect day wandering through caves. things 
things must come to an end. When we got to the end of the cave, we started the walk back through the Mayan village, which we had been to the day before, watched some people playing soccer, grabbed an orange soda at the little store. But it was fun to walk through the whole thing with our guide. This Mayan village is across a river. They built a bridge usable only for people. No cars are able to cross. They have trucks come with packaged food and supplies, and people from the village come to unload the trucks together. It costs 300 quetzales, or around $38, for both of us to do the drive cave tour and tubing. It was another 50 quetzales, or six US dollars, for us to camp here. If you go to Samukcham Bay, Candelaria is not too far away and on the way to Tikal, but I recommend going back through Koban because the roads are completely paved and you won't have to go through a really rough stretch the other route. I hope you'll also have a chance to go tubing through a cave one day. Cheers!